Geeky Classic Rock. Big weekend for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony in Cleveland. Rumors have it that Dr. Dre will be inducting LL Cool J, so that will be a surprise if it happens, but not really because people are expecting it. I mean, they've come out and said it, so it'll be a surprise, but not really. Surprise, we knew. You know, we know. Taylor Swift will be inducting Carole King. Paul McCartney is inducting the Foo Fighters. Him and Dave Grohl have been friends for many, many years. Sir Paul may do a rock and roll ditty on stage with the Fooies, probably. I mean, they're not saying, but you know, that'll most likely happen. Ringo Starr is also going to be there to induct Billy Preston. Angela Bassett is inducting Tina Turner. I said it so many times. Perfect, because when she played Tina Turner in the movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? I think it was from 1993. Oh my God, Angela Bassett was Tina Turner. She's incredible. I love her. No word on who is inducting the late Randy Rhodes. I don't think it'll be Ozzy because I don't think Ozzy is doing well himself. So it'll be interesting to see who does that. Todd Rundgren will not be attending the ceremony. He's been very vocal about that to get his award. It's not happening. And since it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction weekend, You know, I decided to take a trip back to 2017 when Journey was inducted. And Steve Perry, I guess, recently came out and said he did not want to go to that ceremony. He just didn't want to, but he's glad that he did. He did not perform with Journey at the ceremony because he didn't want Arnell to feel uncomfortable. Steve said a lot of great things. I mean, he was very, very complimentary of Arnell, which why wouldn't he be? Arnell does a great job. And he was very complimentary of everyone around him. So what I did was I quickly went through that induction ceremony from 2017. I've watched it several times, but I haven't watched it in a while. And how Jonathan Kane said thank you to Steve O'Jerry and Dean Castronovo was so sweet. And how Jonathan Kane must feel to be full circle with Dean Castronovo back in the band, right? So that was back in 2017. So it just has to be kind of crazy for him. And of course, Jonathan thanked Herbie Herbert. Neil's speech though, you know, you go back and you watch these things and you do, even though you've seen them before, you forget about certain moments. Neil was so visibly emotional during that ceremony from when he spoke, from when he got on the stage, from when he exited the stage. It's really, you got to go and watch this again. If you have, if you have seen it, you haven't seen it in a while, you have to go watch this. When he thanked Herbie Herbert for finding him after he found Greg Raleigh, you could tell that the passion for their friendship was just larger than life. Greg Raleigh thanked both Neil and Herbie, just giving him the fact that he has been part of two of the biggest bands again in rock history, Santana and Journey. Same with Neil. And Ross Valerie sent some really beautiful words about Herbie. Then when Steve Perry spoke, he praised Neil's guitar playing. And it's just kind of crazy because how that relationship is just, you know, again, do we really know if it's existent or not? We really don't. You know, again, you don't see any pictures of them together. You don't hear anything. I mean, I guess it's probably true that they have a non-existent relationship at this point. But boy, did they act like, it was all good at that ceremony. And Steve went on to say how he wouldn't have been able to be at that rock and roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony if it wasn't for Herbie Herbert. And Herbie was standing, his wife was right next to him. I don't know if it was a bodyguard, somebody else was right there, but you could tell how moved Herbie was when the guys were talking about him. The camera kept panning over to him and my gosh, my God. And he did not look well in 2017, but you could tell the man was extremely happy to have been able to be there for that ceremony. Steve also thanked his fans for their tireless love and devotion. You're welcome, Steve. Anytime. Get anytime. Get that? Yeah, that's right. I like that song. And by the end of the speech, going back to Neil Sean, he was so emotional. It was like, I think he was rubbing tears away as he walked off that stage. You got to go and watch that induction speech again. It was really, really well done. I enjoyed going back through it, but the words that Neil Sean just put out regarding Herbie Herbert's passing and going back to the ceremony a few years ago, he's re- he was really close to Herbie. You could just tell. 
You could just tell. Now, Steve has still not put out a statement regarding Herbie's passing, but I always say we're all different, right? We all grieve our own way. Some people may be saying, well, why hasn't he said anything? Why is he being silent? You know, Herbie Herbert gave him his career. He did, and Steve said it in that ceremony. If it wasn't for Herbie listening to his tape, Steve wouldn't have gotten to where he got to. But I think it comes down to we can all feel what we feel. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It just doesn't matter. And I think Steve's the type of person, you know what? If I'm gonna if I'm going to say anything, I will do it when I want to. Maybe I won't say anything. I'm thinking personally that Steve did his thing. He gre- he's grieving his own way and he gave his condolences the way he wanted to. He doesn't have to make a statement. You know, but sometimes we do wonder these things and we do think about them and we can sit here and poke and criticize, but why, you know, he can do whatever he wants. And I'm sure the way he said goodbye was the perfect way for him. Just like any of us, we can do how we need to do no matter what it is, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. That's what it comes down to. Yep. That's right. And Mark McCullough was actually there for that induction ceremony. And how powerful, I mean, even just watching it on a computer screen, even just watching it on a phone, boy, you could feel the passion that was there that night from those guys, really. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not already, hit the like and notification bell, comment, talk to each other, I love that. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, and please download the app, kiki.fm. Take it with you wherever you go for the greatest classic rock on the planet, 24 seven. Have an amazing Friday. Have an amazing weekend. Remember to be kind to everyone. Stay strong and always remember to most importantly, keep rocking.